Hello everyone, it's Nancy Amato, the Be More Stamper. Welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday, everyone. It is June the 17th already, Father's Day weekend. And um, we are here stamping a birthday card today. We're gonna do one more card with the beautiful balloons bundle before we move on to a new bundle next week but this card is really fun so let me show you so here is the layout of the beautiful balloons um bundle of products again the items we're going to use today we're going to use this large stamp of the balloon the medium balloon and the small balloon stamp and then we're going to use the die cuts to cut all three of those out as well Plus, look down here. We are going to use this little confetti um, die to make a stencil as well. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you the project right here. I had it hiding underneath of there. Um, we're also, I want to introduce you also to some new standalone dies that are in our annual catalog and let me flip this page real quickly they are on page 167 and they are just standalone dies they are called wanted to say and you get the dies for the bubbles of the words and then the words themselves okay so in this case, we're gonna use the happy birthday. And let me show you the dies. They are right here next to me in my little magnetic bowl. So hang on a second. So this die right here is the bubble for the words. When I flip it over, you can see how that is the bubble. And then this die right here is the actual words, okay? So you can see how it will cut out the happy. That is all hooked together. And the birthday is all hooked together. And you layer those on top of the bubble. What I love about this die, let me grab my tweezers. With the birthday, they have, let me see if I can get a little closer. They have connected the little dot over the eye to the eye. So we don't have to worry about that, that random little <laughs> dot for the eye being missing in action. Okay, so they are on page 167. We are um, using those today just as something fun and different. And they're called Want It To Say and they're $39. You get your two kind, happy birthday, feel better soon and celebrate. And then some little flowers and hearts and stars, um, little add-ons. I haven't made a cheat sheet yet for myself because honestly, I just got these. So that's another reason why we had to play with them because they are new. <laughs> They're new in my house and I had to play with them. All right, so I wanted to show you how to use um, one of the tools in our catalog as well. We have the blending brushes, which are this size right here. I keep a little um, mason jar full of blending brushes on my table, but now we also carry small blending brushes as well. They are on page 137, so you can see the regular size blending brush and then the small. The regular blending brushes are $13 and you get three in a pack. The small are $12 and you get three in a pack. So I want to show you the size comparison. And we are going to use these three today so I can get them out of the package. So you can see that the small one, I would estimate is about a third of the size, maybe slightly bigger than a third, but definitely more than a half, okay? And what's nice about this size is it can allow you to get into smaller nooks and crannies when we want to make two-tone images with our stamps. 
like we're doing today on this card. Let's see if I can get the light correctly. You can see our small little balloon right here. This one is um, bubble bath, but then I used the small blending brush to apply some ink to the stamp before I stamped it on the basic white. I did a little berry burst around the edges so you can see that two-tone. This large balloon back here, this was bubble bath. And then along the bottom, we added some fresh freesia and then we stamped the little speckles on top. And then this medium sized balloon started out as lemon lolly. And then I sponged some of the Lucky Limeade around the bottom of that to get this image. So you can see on the inside as well, we did some sponging of the stamps before stamping them. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And then I even did it for our happy birthday greeting. You can kind of get this little ombre look here with the greeting as well. So two things are important to remember when you are doing this technique. Number one, keep um, a stamp cleaner of some sort, whether it's a chamois or stamp and scrub or whatever, handy. All righty, second thing, Notice this background here with all of this fun confetti. Now, remember I told you we were gonna use this die right here, but I am not crazy enough to cut all of these different colors of confetti and glue them all down. That's not me. However, you can use that same die, and I wanna show it to you up close. That is the die. And I cut out, and let me grab, um, let me grab my mat so you can see it. I die cut the um, little images from that little confetti and the stars onto a piece of um, like window sheet. Actually, this was the thicker piece of. Um, acetate that came in the Beautiful Balloons stamp set. This is what the stamps originally came on. I always save them to make little masks like this. Now, you can always make a mask, or a stencil, I should say, it's a stencil. You could always make a stencil out of a piece of paper, but the advantage of doing it through something clear, like this window sheet, is that as you place it, onto your paper, you can see exactly where you are stenciling, okay? We will get to that second. So this, this, uh, this live is gonna be a double duty. We're gonna learn how to get like this ombre look for our balloons. And then we're gonna use this as a stencil to um, sponge, or I'm sorry, to use our small blending brushes to get our fun background. Alrighty. Have I lost you yet? <laughs> hey Beth, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. So, and then here is our envelope that we're going to do as well. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to need for this card. I'm going to put my stencil right here. So we have our regular medium um, basic white envelope, okay? Our card base is, um, for this case, bubble bath, and it is eight and a half by five and a half, and it is scored right in the middle at four and one quarter, okay? So that is that measurement. This is my last piece of bubble bath. I cannot believe I'm out of it. I thought I ordered more. So you know what's gonna be on my next order, right? Okay, then we're gonna need two pieces of Berry Burst, and they are cut at three and three quarters by five inches. Alrighty, that is this layer right here on the front and then again on the inside. Now, something else to tell you, what you can do with one of these layers 
because this white layer is going to cover it up. What I did was I took my happy birthday die to um, cut out my words and I put it right in the center and cut it out of that layer that is going to go on the front of the card because we're not going to see that once we cover it up with the basic white. So you need two pieces of basic white, three and one half by four and three quarters. And you see that is going to layer right over top of that. So instead of using a separate piece of cardstock to die cut your words, you might as well just use the middle of this layer because no one's going to see it anyway. Okay, so that saves you a little, a little bit of paper as well. Alrighty, let me pull off these little post-it notes. And then we're going to need some basic white to stamp on with our um, balloon. So this was just an extra little piece. We're going to stamp our three balloons first for the front. Then we'll move to the inside of the card. But I wanna do these three large balloons first. So let's get started. And if you have any questions, just type them in the comments below there. I will look up every so often and see if you have any questions um, so we can get those answered for you. Alrighty, so here are our stamps that we're going to use. They're all stacked up and stuck together, aren't they? Let's see, let's pull these apart. There we are. And I'm gonna show you our color scheme today. We are going to use the new color Lemon Lolly and Lemon Lime Twist, which is a returning color. They're going to go together. And then we're also going to use Bubble Bath and Fresh Freesia. They're going to go together as well. And then we're also bringing in Berry Burst. That is also going to go with the Bubble Bath, okay? So our largest balloon is Bubble Bath and Fresh Freesia. Our next one is um, Lemon Lolly and Lemon Lime Twist. And then our final little baby balloon is Bubble Bath and Berry Burst. Okay, so let's get started first of all with our largest balloon. I am going to move the ink pads over here. This is the big balloon right here. Alrighty, and another little hint I wanted to tell you about when you are um, doing this technique, it helps to not have a whole bunch of ink in the middle of your ink pad here, okay? So what I do, you can see my bone folder is very colorful. What I like to do is to gently just even that out in the center there. You can see how that is looking a little bit lighter now. I'm pushing the ink off to the sides a bit. And I'm not scraping my foam. I'm just gently pushing that ink away. So you can see how that looks a little more even now in the center. Now it is important just to give your bone folder a quick little wipe, okay? It will stain, but it's not a big deal. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is push this into the center. We're inking up that stamp in our petal pink. All right, I'm gonna open up our Fresh Freesia a while. Okay, so here is our petal pink right there. Now I'm going to put some fresh freesia ink on my small blending brush, and then I'm tapping it. I don't wanna rub it or smear it. I wanna tap it like this. Okay, so I'm tapping it along that bottom edge, 
and up the other side as well. I'm going to get a little more ink on this brush and do the same thing over here. It's going to look very subtle. It's not going to be like a huge line between the two colors, but it will be visible once we stamp it. Okay, so that's where I want to put the fresh freesia is right there. I'm going to just blow on this to re-moisten the um, ink. So like that. And now we're going to just put this on our work paper, press it down and give that ink a chance to absorb into that basic white paper. Okay. And you can see with our photopolymer stamps, you can see when all the ink has been applied to the paper. All right. Oh, that looks so good. Let me lift it up. And I know it is subtle, but you can see the difference in color, can't you? Along the bottom there, you can still see the bubble bath. It's pinky up at the top, but then as we go down, it has a little bit more of the fresh freesia look. All right, while fresh freesia is still open, I want to ink up these little speckles and hopefully my head won't get in here. We're just gonna stamp that right over top of what our balloon is, just to add that little detail, okay? So that is what that looks like right now. It is important when you're doing this technique to clean your stamps in between each color. Now, if I were going to use this large stamp again, it's important to clean it in between um, every time you use it. I am gonna move on now to the little baby balloon because we're still gonna use our bubble bath as the base, but I am gonna close up my fresh freesia. And this time I'm pulling in um, berry burst. So let's get our little teeny tiny baby balloon. Here he is, right here. We're going to ink him up, or her, whatever, <laughs> in bubble bath. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of Berry Burst ink onto this small blending brush, and I'm tapping it on again. You don't want to smear it, you just want to tap it. This time I'm trying to tap it all around the edges of this balloon. So I want the berry burst to be all around the edges and then the petal pink will still be in the center. Okay, I think that's good. I'm just going to blow on that and then stamp that, give it a second to let that ink absorb into the paper we're not in a hurry, right? And lift it up. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Doesn't that look good? See how we have like that ombre effect with that small balloon? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. All right, I'm going to move this brush over out of the way. Close this one up and let's close this one up for this moment. And let's get our medium sized balloon done on here. So let's pull in our lemon lolly. I have a funny story about my lemon lolly. So when I first got it, basically what happened was the stickers were just put on the opposite sides. Like this should be the top with the thumb pull right here. And this should be the bottom but it's not a big deal because it works just fine. <laughs> it's just a little confusing sometimes when I pull it off and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what happened there? So there we go. All right, I'm just spreading that ink out a little bit so that we have a nice, even um, palette of ink right there. I'm going to tap the balloon into it. Okay, let's just let that sit there a minute. 
Let's open up the Lemon Lime Twist. I'm so glad this color came back. I love it. And I'm just gonna put some ink on our small blending brush. And let's pick up the image. And this time again, I'm gonna just do the tapping of the ink around the bottom. Now you can do this technique with photopolymer stamps like I'm doing today or our cling mount, which are made with red rubber. Either one will work, okay? So this is a technique that works for both types of our stamps. All right, I think that'll be enough. All right, let's put that down. Give that a second to let that ink absorb into the paper and lift it up. Oh my gosh, I love it. Can you see the variation in the color? Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's set this aside. We're going to have to die cut these balloons out. But I want to work on the inside of the card as well. So let's grab our, oh, our layer. Let's see, where did I put all my layers? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, here they are. Okay, so this is our inside layer. Let me line it up and make sure it is. Yes, that is the correct size. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the happy birthday. Well, you know what? Let's do our little yellow balloon again, since we have that at the bottom. We need to clean it. Remember, we need to clean it in between each time because every time we add that ink, it's going to be just slightly different than the time before. Okay, let me just scooch down here. Oh, hi, Lisa. Thanks for watching today. I just wanted to double check and see if I had lost anyone or anyone had any questions yet. But no, thank you for joining me today. All right, I'm just gonna put this little piece of scratch paper underneath. And again, I am just putting on some Lemon Lolly ink and then adding a little more ink onto my small blending brush. And I'm gonna go around the bottom half of that balloon and tap that ink on. Tap, 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 okay? All right, blow on it again. And I want this balloon down the bottom of our card. Alrighty. There we go. We have our little uh, lemon lolly and lucky limeade ombre look down there. That's easy for me to say, right? All right, let's grab our happy birthday. And we are going to need these two colors again. And we're going to use the same colors for our small balloon. Put that there. I am pretty sure I washed the small balloon, but I am just going to give it just a little rub just in case I didn't. It wouldn't be unusual for me to think I did something <laughs> and I really didn't. That's par for the course. All right, that's going to be our berry burst brush. All right, so we have stamped our stamp in the bubble bath and now we're going to go around the edges with the berry burst okay and now i'm going to just do this balloon hanging off the edge and slightly overlapping our yellow balloon all right we're going to do the same thing with our greeting let's do our greeting um, bubble bath and berry burst. I'll clean off this balloon. Okay, so again, here's our greeting. That is clean. We are just going to ink this up in the bubble bath ink, which is the lighter ink. You always want to start with the base being the lighter ink and then tap your darker ink on. Now, if you have a huge image, you could certainly tap on various colors if you would like, okay? 
So here is our happy birthday. So here's our greeting. I love photopolymers because I can see through and I have a better chance of getting it straight. I'm not going to say it's always going to be straight, but I do have a better chance of it. <gasps> look at that. Isn't that cool how we have that ombre look there? All right, while our berry burst is open, I want to add in this little yay you right over top of our lemon lolly and lemon lime twist balloon. There we go. Yay you. All right, so that's our inside. That's all finished. Let's grab our envelope. Let's do this. Um, while we have these colors out, I will need Berry Burst, but I'm just going to slide that over there so I don't get a little mixed up here. All right, we are going to open up our, I'm going to bring in the Fresh Freesia. Let's clean off our Happy Birthday and our Yay You. I'm finished with them so I can just bring back in my large balloon. Let's look. This is the bottom corner. I'm going to ink that up first with my bubble bath ink. Then I'm going to add some fresh freesia. I'm just going to tap it on along the bottom there. Let's add a little bit more. And it's very hard to see this on the stamps as you're doing it. The magic really happens when you put the stamp to your paper. <laughs> and then you can see exactly where you have put it. All right, that should be enough. <gasps> Let's moisten that ink again. And I'm going to tilt that down like that. All right, give that a second to let that ink absorb. There we go. Oh, it looks good. Can you see the little variation in the shade down there? That's where we added that fresh freesia. All right, now we're gonna bring in this detail stamp again. And we're gonna do this in fresh freesia right at full strength. Okay, we're not stamping off or anything. We're just gonna stamp right over top of that balloon. Alrighty, let me close up these other colors for right now before I get all confused. Now let's bring in our Berry Burst and for our envelope, we're going to stamp right over top of it, so thrilled for you. So here is that other greeting and all of these greetings are in the Beautiful Balloons stamp set. Okay, so here's so thrilled for you. All right, perfect. Let's just leave this one open because now we are going to use our stencil for the background. Let me give these guys a quick little wash just so I don't put my arm in there and we are finished with them. So I'm just going to tuck them all under here. All righty. Okay, so we can move our envelope, put that right over here. Let's get our layer for, oops, our layer for the outside, and let's bring in our stencil once again. Okay, I know this is probably hard to see, but once we start using it, you're going to be able to see what it does, okay? I know there's so many lights, <laughs> there's so many lights on my table. It's like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that there were so many lights shining down and you only can tell when I have like something shiny like acetate. All right, so now we're working on this background right here. And it's important to have some paper towels and I always keep a little spritz bottle of water on my table because I'm too lazy to get up and go to the sink all the time. But in between every color, we're going to want to make sure that we clean our stencil, okay? So let's make sure, this is Berry Burst. Here's the 
the uh, small blending brush for Berry Burst. And I'm just going to hold this over top of my paper with my fingers. And then you just want to apply the ink right over top of those holes. And you can see how it goes right through those holes on to your cardstock. Okay. You can keep turning this in different directions. You do want to have it hanging off the edge a little bit as well. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do this time. There we go. So there's a little more berry burst. And I'm going to tell you, this is all random. There is no rhyme or reason <laughs> to this at all. It is wherever you want to put those colors. There we go. There's another sprinkle of berry burst. Okay, I'm going to do another one going in this direction. So I'm just holding that stencil in place with my other hand. And just going over top of it in like a circular motion. Those of us who are old enough to remember stenciling our walls in the 80s, same idea. <laughs> Only it's not as difficult. Um, let's see, I'm going to do just a little corner there. Oh my gosh, I'm making myself sound really old, but I am. So, okay, we're good with that. All right. Let's finish up with Berry Burst for right now. Let's close that up. We can always come back and add more, but we can't take any off. All right. So what we want to do right now is just take a little piece of paper towel and I'm just going to spritz a little bit of water on here. And actually, I'm going to open up my I'm going to open that up, lay it on top, and then I can clean the top of it. And the chamois can also get any ink that squished through the holes as well at the same time. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good. See, that was the ink that we removed with the paper towel. All right. Let's get out, since this is the next one on our stack there. Let's get out our fresh freesia, and we are going to do the same exact thing. Okay, I'm gonna bring that over as well. So here is our little stencil. Here's our fresh freesia. And this time, we're gonna come in from that angle, okay? Now these images will overlap slightly, and that's fine because you want it to look like confetti is being thrown all over the place. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna do a little fresh freesia, like right here. So to me, this is a much easier way to get these images onto some cardstock instead of cutting all of those little pieces out <laughs> and gluing them on. Now they would be great for a shaker card. Don't get me wrong. You can cut all those little pieces out and use them for a shaker card. I haven't done that yet, but I probably will at some point in time. All right, so there's another fresh freesia. Let's grab some fresh freesia going down this way as well. So yeah, this is a fun way to use your dies for another purpose. You can do these with any dies that we have. And like I said, it is easier, in my opinion, to be able to cut through a piece of acetate that comes with your photopolymer stamps, or we do sell window sheets as well, which is the same kind of material. All right, I'm gonna let that be. Let's, we're gonna add our lemon lime twist and then see what else we need to add. 
All right, we're gonna clean this once again. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold this in half. Spray a little bit of water right there. And then clean that off. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, dry that off so I don't smear any ink on my paper. Okay, let's open up our lemon lime twist and grab our small blending brush again. And I'm gonna just try to fill in these spaces that I have left with the lemon lime twist. There we go, there's one there. Let's get this one kind of coming off the edge. Like that. I love doing this kind of stuff. I don't know about you, but <laughs> if I could look at a product and like, hey, hey Peggy, how are you? If I can look at a product and kind of like, yeah, I can use that to make a stencil. I feel like I'm, you know, an artist or something. <laughs> there we go. Which I'm far from it. But I can stamp, so they do all the work for me with the stamps. I don't have to draw anything, which is a good thing. All right, so here's a little more lemon lime twist. I'm gonna bring some in there. Now, some of this is going to be covered up by our words and our balloons, but we at least want to get the background looking good before we do that. There we go. I think that looks good. I need to just clean up these two areas here. I'm just going to bring in just a little bit off the edge. so that we don't have those areas of stark white there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see, I might do a little, another little lemon lime twist in like that direction. My problem is I don't know when to stop. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I did too much. Nope, I think that looks good. I think that is perfect the way it is. Let me just add a little star up here and then we're done. I promise. There we go. Now we're done. Okay, so that looks, that actually looks like designer series paper. Alrighty. Okay, let me just wipe this off one more time so I can put it away. And now we're going to die cut those balloons that we stamped at first. Remember those way back? All right, I won't need that paper towel. I can get rid of that one. Let's bring in, I just have my mini machine here. It's finished with my water. Put that back there. All right, let's find those balloons that we initially stamped. Here they are. So now I'm going to use the three balloon dies, okay, from the Beautiful Balloons bundle. And hopefully I stamp them, it looks like I did. Looks like I stamped them far enough apart that I can cut them all three at one time going one trip through the mini cut and emboss machine. I'm going to put this die around the large one and I'm going to hold it in place with a little piece of post-it note tape. This is what I use to hold my dies in place. Um, you can use washi tape, but I have found that sometimes washi tape will pull up a little bit of the surface of basic white. So I just order this on um, Amazon and it works great for holding dies in place. All right, so 
So I'm going to put that around there and look around and make sure that I kind of have an even border going around. Now I could put that piece right there and that's going to kind of do double duty. I need another little piece there for my teeny tiny little balloon right here. All right, I'm gonna put the clear plate right on top and we're gonna run it through and all three of these will get cut at the same time, which is great. I'm loving my little, my little machine. Oh, you're having, Liz says, having trouble making the stencil. Tried shims and multiple passes. Hmm. It might just be, Liz, it might just be the, um, the tension on your machine. I would keep, um, well, I have to say when I cut mine, I'll back it up. I'll back up the bus. When I cut mine, I put it in the machine this way. Okay. So let me see. It went this way, I guess. So I was running it the length of the die instead of the width of the die, if that's making any sense. So that is one suggestion to put it in so that you're running it from the top down. I do find that helps. Um, also, if you're using a larger machine, if you tend to use the sides, I'm just going to show you with my small one just to kind of try to make sense here. The, the pressure on the machines is greatest along either side, not directly in the middle. So if you're using your larger machine, you will have, you may have better luck because you have more room to wiggle, to wiggle this around. I just used my small machine and I really didn't have any problem with it cutting and I just did it last night, so I do remember it. <laughs> so give that a try and let me know how it goes and see if it works. Now, not all of the little pieces immediately fell out. I did have to use my little tweezers and poke them out um, because this is a thicker kind of material. This acetate's a thicker material than cardstock sometimes. So see if that works. And I did, I should say, I did use the thicker piece that was in the um, stamp set, not the flimsy piece that's on the top of the stamp. So this was the backing piece from the photopolymer stamp. So they are stuck on, not the piece that we peel off. So I hope those things will help. But yeah, let us know if that helps at all. All right, so there is one balloon. And here is our other balloon. Right there. And here is our third balloon. Okay, I'm gonna put these back in my magnetic bowl so I don't lose them. I do lose them occasionally. All right, let's pull out our die cut happy birthday that we talked about it seems like days ago but <laughs> we have happy birthday so here's the bubble die right there and then this one is the actual words and again remember we cut out the words from the middle of one of our layers okay because we're not going to see this anyway so why waste paper? You might as well just cut it out from that. Alrighty. So let's bring in my silicone mat. I am going to have my bubble first and I am going to use um, a two-way glue pen. Stampin' Up! no longer sells these, but you can find them um, at Amazon or other craft stores. I love these. Now, you could use our, um, what is it called? <laughs> Sticker adhesive, something like that. 
I just like using this better. It's easier for me. And then I don't have to worry about applying that. So I'm just gonna tap some of this on these letters, flipping it over to the back side, tapping some of that on. And then because my old fingers don't work as well as they used to, I like to use my tweezers again to pick these up. I'm gonna pick it up kind of in the middle and then lay it down to where I think it's supposed to be. Let it go and then push it down. Okay, and any of that glue that got onto this silicone sheet is not going to stick and I can clean that up either with a glue eraser or I can actually pull it pull it off right with my fingers as well. All right, so here is our happy. Flip that upside down. And I'm just gonna brush some of this glue pen glue right over top of those letters on the reverse side there. Okay, and I'm gonna pick this up again. These are reverse tweezers, so when you squeeze them, they open up. And then when you're not squeezing them, they close, which is a great way. If you have any neuropathy or problem in your hands, it's a, it's a nice tool to have, I have to say. So I'm getting older and I'm starting to notice my hands are looking a lot like my mother's and grandmother's. I am finding some little tools to help. Okay, so here we have our happy birthday. That is all ready to go. I can close my glue pen now. And we're ready to put this bad boy together. I know this seemed like it was, a, <laughs> it was a lot, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun, um, fun techniques this time. So, alrighty, let's bring in our card base. Let's do our inside panel first. Okay, let's pull these off of the side here. So this is our inside panel. This one is going to go right on top of um, this one right here, okay? So I'm just gonna use my Tombow Multi-Purpose Glue. I just do a nice thin little line around all four sides. And then I can just layer that onto the berry burst. And now we can do the same thing to attach it to the inside of the card. There we go. Okay, there we are. All right, now let's get our confetti stamped <laughs> image here. We are going to put happy birthday along the bottom but we are going to pop that up with dimensionals. I know, you were probably wondering, why hasn't she used dimensionals yet? <laughs> no worries, we're using them now. And the regular size ones will fit on the back of these words just fine. Now, sometimes I like to cut just a little piece of the side, just for that little area there so I don't have any little sag. Or you could use your mini dimensionals as well, but the side piece works just dandy. Okay, so that is going to go on the bottom. Just like that. And I probably didn't need all of these dimensionals, but I didn't want any area that would sag. So I'm going to put this right down here at the bottom for the happy birthday. Okay. Move those little dimensional papers over. I'll get those later. All right. Now we are ready to put our balloons on here. Our large balloon is going to be flat. And then our lemon lolly and um, um, lucky, no. Oh my gosh, Lemon Lime Twist. I almost said Lucky Limeade. That was another old color. Is going to be one set of dimensionals and then 
our little baby balloon is going to be a double decker dimensional. So this is going to be flat. So we're going to start with that first. Just going to put a thin little line around there and put him down first. Okay. Let's grab our dimensionals again. And I'm going to put one at the top and one at the bottom. So our medium balloon is going to go right about here and overlap the large balloon slightly. Okay. And then here's our little baby balloon. We are going to do a double dimensional on, on him. Okay. So, so there's one. We're going to take another dimensional and just put it right on top, kind of like a double burger, okay? So this has now popped up two dimensionals worth, and we're going to put that right there, okay? All right, let's grab our layer. Remember, we cut out our happy birthday. So what we want to do is make sure we don't get any glue that is going to ooze through the center. So we're just gonna do all four sides again with just a thin line. We don't want a real blob because then you might actually see it, but use a thin line and you push hard and you squish it out. You're not gonna see it. And I am finding, especially in our humid climate here in Baltimore, this glue is allowing cards to stay stuck together when it's hot and humid. Okay, now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna put this on the front of our card with some dimensionals as well. So we have four there. Let's just put one in the middle so it doesn't sag. And let's bring in our card. Here's our inside. So this one will go on this panel. There we go. All right. So there we are. That looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with that today. So any other questions or anything? Here's the original one. And here's the one we made today. So use up your, um, your acetate that comes with your photopolymer stamps. Your photopolymer stamps are stuck to this in your kit. And then once you peel them off of that acetate, oops, got a lot of projects in there, then we just stick them to the back. So what I do is I will keep that acetate right inside here. So see, I still have another half a piece here. And where's the flimsy piece? The flimsy piece is somewhere. Hmm, it might have fallen out of there. Oh no, here it is. So when you get photopolymer stamps, let's grab a clean stamp here. Your stamps are going to be on this thicker piece of acetate here. And then this piece, which is thinner and a little more flimsy, is going to be on top. So what I do is I peel this off. I peel off all of my stamps. I put them in the back here, right where they are labeled so I know where they are. And then this thicker piece of acetate. See how this doesn't really wiggle, but this this one really does. This is like flapping in the breeze. So you can use the thicker piece of the acetate that comes with photopolymer stamps as um, a stencil, okay? You don't even have to buy window sheets. You just use what what is coming in your photopolymer stamps anyway. I have a lot of projects in progress in here, don't I? Half finished projects. What is it? I have a PhD, projects half done. That's what it is. <laughs> projects half done in there. So, alrighty, just to recap here, we used 
beautiful balloons one last time. We're going to move on to another um, bundle next week. And, um, but here is beautiful balloons. We made a stencil from the little confetti die. We used our small blending brushes here to get ombre looks for our balloons. We have two colors on each of the balloons. So that is our project for today. So let's see. Oh, Beth, Beth commented. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure what that means, Beth. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, good. So Liz says she got the stencil to cut, turned it with the cut side up. Yeah, it might be. The pressure might be slightly different that way. Yeah. It's, you know, it's kind of like fake it till you make it sometimes with um, cutting other materials other than paper. It just, you know, if it's a little bit thicker or it's slippery or, you know, whatever. So I'm glad you found a way that it will work for you. Alrighty, what is going on this month still? Alright, we still have our designer series paper sale going on in June. Let's flip to that. Just to remind you, all of these papers are 15% off, okay? So all of the new designer series papers starting on page 129, 130, 131, and 132, plus the online paper. I think I have a new pack right here. I did have a new pack right here, the Hello Irresistible. Hmm. trying to get organized here and look what happened well the hello irresistible which is an online exclusive is also reduced so all of these regular packs that are normally $12.50 are $10.62 including the hello irresistible okay this um, glorious gingham is normally $10.50 so it is $8.92 and this pack here is a double pack, so it is normally 30, but it is 25.50. Plus, we have a new um, demonstrator offer this month as well. So for a hundred and or no, for $99 plus tax, plus sales tax, and shipping is free, you get to select $155 worth of products from this brand new catalog to put into your kit. You will also get catalogs and some business supplies as well. So that is the best deal in town. You can then buy from yourself and save 20%. You get a 20% discount on everything that you purchase. So if you are interested in that, I would love to chat with you. Um, I would love to have you join our Be More Stampers team. Even though Baltimore, the Be More is in our name, we have demonstrators um, from all over the country now. So that's pretty exciting. So let me know if you are interested in that. Um, I don't see any other questions, so I will wrap it up now and say have a great weekend. Have a good Father's Day, everyone. And um, again, if you comment, like, love, or share this video, I will put your name in the hat to win the card that we made today. And I will be catching up on those drawings as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great weekend, everybody. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.